This is the story of how a small family in Hillegom, the Netherlands, started their transport business and became a worldwide logistics giant while still holding on to their family ties. The story begins in 1920, when the recently married Jacobus and Greta den Hartog open a small grocer's shop in Hillegom. The grocer's life turns out to be not what Jacobus is looking for. He clearly has other plans. He buys a bird skip, an inland cargo ship, which is quite a daring investment. This starts his transport business. Shipping sugar, flour and flower bulbs keeps his growing family well supported and allows them to buy a Ford Model T. When eldest son Anton turns 13, he starts working for his father. Six years later, he's followed by youngest son Klaus Peter, who we now just call Pete, who is then also 13. The Second World War breaks out, difficult times. To avoid their trucks being confiscated, they hide one of them. This is not successful. Support from the Dutch government comes in the form of a gift of two old military trucks. Business goes on, life goes on. Anton marries Johanna Leesje and their first child is born, Jacobus. Pete also falls in love, marries Anna and they have a daughter, Grietje. Young Jacobus, whom we call Jack, now has a little sister, Leesje, and Pete has a son, Jacobus, and Anton has a daughter, Grietje. Are you still following this? To make sure that their offspring don't end up bored in the future, Pete expands the business quite a bit. The invention of cooling trucks means transport abroad becomes possible. Transport of chemicals in barrels increases. At age 17, Jack is officially allowed to drive the trucks. In 1965, Pete's family gains another boy, Klaus Peter. It's a welcome and a farewell. Shortly after these happy events, the founder, Jacobus den Hartog, passes away at the age of 72. Anton and Pete continue the business together. It expands so quickly that they soon need a larger base. They move to Rosenberg. They keep up the momentum and we soon see the first acquisitions abroad, in Belgium. First, St. Anna to Bellera, and later, Het Hacheland. The two companies emerged and settled in Zeele. In 1972, Jacobus, eldest son of Piet, we call him Jos now, becomes manager of this branch. In 1979, Anton retires. Jack spends less and less time in the trucks and more and more time in management. Pete's youngest son, Klaus Peter, known to us as Peter, has inherited his father's name as well as his talents. Much to Pete's delight, of course. Peter makes his official debut in the company, and that same year they celebrate the arrival of their 500th Volvo. Anton is still regularly to be found at the office, dispensing good advice. But in 1992, unfortunately, Anton leaves the company for good at age 72. Jack, Pete and Peter keep going, always keeping Anton's good counsel in mind. The company expands further into Germany and France. New autonomous companies are started in Poland and Hungary. Back in the Netherlands, things keep moving forward as well. The acquisition of Eurovos in 2001 adds an important branch in Os. Jos decides to leave the company, while Pete, Jack and Peter set their sights on gas transport. The acquisition of STCD gives oxygen to grow. To manage the growth and the size of the company in a more formal way, the board of directors is established in 2006. The gas division is strengthened by the purchase of Yanni Gas and the acquisition of Ekstar Rotterdam opens the door to Russia. More countries, more people. There's plenty of focus on culture and young talent. Each year, young, talented employees are plucked from the work floor and offered extra chances to develop their talents. In 2010, we must say goodbye to boss Pete at age 84, who never really stopped working for his company. That same year, Jack decides to start enjoying his pension. Den Hartog is not Den Hartog without movement. In 2011, the global organization begins with branches in Le Havre, Houston, Singapore, Dubai, Shanghai, and 2013, the head office needs a more strategic location. On to Rotterdam. New view, new perspectives, new challenges. There has always been growth, but 200% in one go. 
In 2016, with the acquisition of Interbulk, it happens. 2018, over 1,700 employees, 23 countries, 42 locations, 20,000 tank containers, 6,500 dry bulk containers, 400 road tankers, and over 600 trucks. 2019, the happy prospect of the 100th anniversary is suddenly clouded by sad news. At 69 years old, Jack passes away and joins his father, grandfather and uncle to follow the company's fortunes from above. They can be satisfied with what they see. It has been an amazing journey. From 1920 to 2020, we see three generations of the Den Hartog family building up their family business into a worldwide company. But we could have never done it without you. Thanks to all the Den Hartog employees over the years and now. Cheers. It was a nice party. And now, back to work.